In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I like to use the EMA line. So first you're gonna to wanna to go up to here at Edit Studies, and you wanna to go to the search bar and type in Exponential, and then you'll see it right there. And then you wanna add it and then apply it to your charts. So the way I like to use the EMA line is I like to use it to identify changes in direction on the charts. So for example, right here we can see in the morning, we can see the morning sell off and then we can see it push back up, get rejected by the EMA line and keep pushing downwards. But once it crosses over right here, we can see it change direction. I'm just gonna highlight it right here real quick for you. So we can see an obvious change in direction once it crossed that EMA line. And just because it crosses that EMA line, it does not mean it's just gonna hold above it now and keep trending upwards. If you wanted to buy off the EMA line, you would wanna make sure buyers are stepping in with you. And the way I would like to buy off the EMA line or the way I have purchased shares off the EMA line is if it's on a strong uptrend, it has a strong volume with the uptrend, I like to purchase when it bounces off of the EMA line. But buyers have to be stepping in with you at the same time. So it's right here is what I mean. And I'll highlight the areas what I'm talking about. So now just by putting those in, you might be able to see the trend a little better and what I'm talking about. So for example, if I were to buy right here and I see volume down here kicking in at the same time, that gives me a good indication this stock price may go to higher prices. So the way I like to do it is I would like to buy off the EMA line, sell into spike or when I notice a change in direction. And right here, it's not showing a change in direction, it's just showing a little dip. So people even add to their positions on dips with light selling volume. And to be able to tell how heavy the volume is, just the volume indicator down here. And you can even type in the um, volume average indicator or whatever in this edit studies thing that I showed you in the beginning of the video. But that's pretty much it. It's really simple to use this. So number one, you can use it to identify changes in direction of the trend. That's how I like to use it. And number two, I like to use it to buy off of as long as there's a strong uptrend with strong buyers coming in at the price you're trying to get in at. So I thought this would be really helpful for some of you to use, especially for people that just need a little bit more assistance when it comes down to identifying trends and things like that. So um, I hope this video was beneficial to you and I hope you can use this in your paper trading and things like that so you can see if you like it or not. And one more thing is no indicator that will make you profitable. The indicators really should just confirm what you were already thinking. So um, that's one thing to keep in mind. Let's start dropping more questions in the comments. The upcoming Q&A that I'm gonna do, it can be about trading, it could just be about life or just myself. So I'll be doing that soon. So make sure you drop the comments down below and I'll pick from those. So make sure you like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.